What's up guys? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. And today we're back with another Fragrances of the Week. This is volume two. A lot of you guys asked to keep this series going, so I'm gonna continue to share it with you. Once again, this is gonna be a very lightly edited video of me just talking about the fragrances that I reached for over the past week. And that is talking about from last Friday May the 24th up until today, which is May the 30th, I believe. So it's the past seven days, so I'm gonna tell you guys what I've been wearing. Again, most days I wear at least two fragrances. I'll put something on early in the morning when I go to work, and then I'll put something on later in the afternoon when I go back to work. So as you can see here, we started Friday off with a fragrance from the House of Parfums Vintage. This is one of their newer releases. This is called Aqua Intense. And this is their recreation of Invictus Aqua from Paco Rabanne, the 2016 version. And man, I gotta say, this thing, it's basically Invictus Aqua. I, I sampled it in that first impressions video I did a couple weeks ago. They sent me a bottle, they're very gracious, so they did send this to me for free. I really wasn't planning on reviewing it, but I have been wearing it a little bit and I'm featuring it here, obviously. Really nice stuff. Honestly, it dries down to something that is smoother and a little bit more higher quality than Invictus Aqua 2016. So if you're still looking for that discontinued frosted bottle, fret no more. You can pick this one up for a fairly decent price, at least sample it, you know, maybe check that out if you're looking for an alternative to that. So that's Invictus Aqua 2016. <laughs> Actually, it's not. This is Parfums Vintage Aqua Intense. And later on that evening, I actually wore this one again, Vince Camuto. And this is the Vince Camuto for Men, their original release from 2012, the first one they did for the house for men's fragrances. I had a gig that night, so I wore this to the gig. This is a very subtle scent, but very gentlemanly, very nice. It's leathery, it's kind of peppery, there's some citrus in there. It's fresh and aromatic, I think there's some lavender. It's nice, it's a great scent, nothing mind-blowing. Again, super light. Like I went seven plus sprays and I could barely smell it. So, you know, it's okay, it smells great, so that's what I'm trying to focus on. That's Vince Camuto for Friday night. May the 24th. Moving on to Saturday. On the weekends, I do tend to wear just one fragrance because I'm not getting up so early, starting my day so early. On Saturday, I went back to Tommy Hilfiger for Men, a classic. I spoke about this one in my last rotation, so I'm not gonna say much more about it here. Beautiful aromatic scent, has some citrus in there. It's uh, really just fresh and very reminiscent of easier and simpler times for me. So that's Tommy for Men. And on Sunday, you know what, actually I think also on Saturday I may have worn, I wore Ventus Cologne, that's right, I put a bottle right here because I did my review the following Monday. So I did my final wearing of a Ventus Cologne. And if you didn't catch my review, you can check it out right here at the card. So make sure you check it out to see what my thoughts were on a Ventus Cologne from the House of Creed. Moving on to Sunday, this beauty of a fragrance was my companion for Sunday. This is Lomi de Alcalone from the House of Guerlain. A gorgeous, creamy, kind of grapefruit, you know, but very lemony and sweet and spicy. It's really just gorgeous. Imagine just kind of like a, like a fresh and like sparkly, like lemon soda. That's kind of what this reminds me of. A gorgeous scent, pretty versatile, very elegant. I love it. And that was my scent of the day for Sunday which I believe was the 26th. All right, and Monday was a holiday here in the US. It was Memorial Day, so I had the day off. So I only wore one fragrance, and it was Millicene Imperial from the House of Creed. It really wasn't quite warm enough yet, but I just decided to wear it. It had been a while, so I threw it on, and I didn't regret it. This stuff is so nice. I look forward to getting more wearings out of it this summer. Beautiful, it's kind of sea breezy and sea salty, fruity and musky fragrance it sounds kind of beachy but it's actually very elegant and it's a great one to wear even for upscale occasions so that's Creed Millicene Imperial okay so on Tuesday back to work early morning I threw on this one which had been a while since I wore this this is a gorgeous scent 
One of my favorites from the house, this is Vetiver Geranium from Creed from their Aqua Original line. A gorgeous scent, I have reviewed it here. And in that review, I think I mistakenly said that there's no vetiver in this fragrance. I don't know where I got that from, but I'm pretty sure there is vetiver in here. It's very light, you don't really get that that earthy, rooty, or even the fresh quality from the vetiver. The geranium is more out front for me in this one, but again, if you want to know more about this fragrance, sans the idea of having no vetiver in it, check out my original review. Again, it's linked up top. And later on, that day on Tuesday, uh, I wore this one. Versace Pour Homme Oud Noir. Trying this one out at the moment. If you don't know, this one is said to be kind of like the poor man's Tom Ford Oud Wood. And this is a, it's a nice scent. It definitely does come off a bit more scratchy and synthetic than Oud Wood, but it does dry down to be something very smooth. I think there's saffron in here, there's agarwood, there's some patchouli. You know, it's nice. It's definitely a little bit more on the exotic side of things in terms of like sweet and kind of woody scents. Well, actually very woody, less sweet, but it's it's a nice scent. I'm not sure if I'm going to hold on to it, but we'll see. Obviously, this is more suited for the cooler months, so I might just save it until then. But it was cool enough on that day on Tuesday, so I threw it on and I enjoyed it. All right, on Wednesday, I put on a classic from the house of Roja Parfums. This is Elysium. This is one of my favorites. I've worn this a lot uh, since I've gotten it. And you can check out my review up here. I did review this one a while back when it came out a couple years ago. Great scent, very aromatic and fresh. You got a lot of juniper. There's a bunch of florals. There's a ton of notes in here as with all or most of Roger Dove's fragrances. So they can be very complex depending on who's wearing them. Uh, but really pleasant scent great for when it's warm outside and it certainly was warm enough to sport this one. So that was Elysium. This is the Parfum Cologne version. And on Wednesday, which was yesterday, uh, later on in the day I decided to go with the beautiful Dolce Di Giorno from the house of Boyce 1920. Not a whole lot of talk about this one. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's very kind of oriental and woody. It's like there's vanilla, there's a lot of cedar wood, so it has this dry, woody quality to it. Uh, there's plum, there's cinnamon. It's a gorgeous scent. I think it is said to be similar to a Costume National scent called maybe Ohm. Costume National Ohm, I actually haven't smelled that, uh, but I hear it's similar to this beautiful uh, fragrance. And what I love the most about it is the juice color. It's green. Emerald green, gorgeous. You wouldn't know by just looking at it like this. So that's Dolce Di Giorno. Okay, and today is Thursday, the day I'm filming this, although you will not see this until tomorrow, which will be Friday uh, the 31st of May, but today's Thursday the 30th, and this morning I went with Silver Mountain Water. Again, one of my absolute favorites from the House of Creed, one of the newer acquisitions of mine. Oh, this stuff is so refreshing perfect for the warm weather and it was great to wear today oh just it's so uplifting you know you get that tea that black currant you know it's it's kind of musky it's fresh it's a little bit unusual but in a good way it's definitely gonna get people's attention when they smell it and I really enjoy wearing it I look forward to wearing it more as it continues to heat up that silver mountain water from Creed and this evening I actually have uh, to lead one of my ensembles in their final concert for the year and we're looking to have a great performance this evening one of my jazz bands and tonight I think I'm gonna wear this I'm testing out this classic here this is an old school one this is Elizabeth Taylor passion for men man this stuff is special it's it's a fougere it's classed as an oriental woody online but to me it comes off as a fougere there's a ton of notes to this one, you know, but you do have your standard lavender and tonka bean and oak moss that you would find in a typical fougere. There's obviously some citruses and spices to make it a little bit more modern, but it is pretty much reminiscent of the time it came out. It doesn't smell dated, but it is a little classic. And I love that about it, very masculine and gentlemanly, so I will be sporting this for the remainder of the day. Let me know if you've tried this one. Again, not much talk about this one. So yeah, that's my rotation uh, for the week. 
In terms of compliments, you know, someone had asked about wanting to know what compliments I get. I really don't get that many compliments at all on my fragrances. A fragrance that I definitely got a compliment on this week uh, was definitely Tommy from Men. I did get a, a compliment on that one. And that may have been it, honestly. I spend a lot of my time in the car. Either that or I'm around my students, which are high school kids who don't generally give compliments. They're just too young and insecure for that. And otherwise, I'm not rolling in compliments like some of the other reviewers claim to be. But that's cool with me. Again, I wear all these fragrances for my enjoyment and my pleasure. And they become a part of me when I put them on, just as you would put on whatever apparel you're deciding to wear for the day. It makes me feel more like myself and just makes me feel good. So that's why I wear fragrances. So don't be expecting to see tons of compliments uh, on my channel. Again, I've never done a most complimented list. That's just not what I do. You know, again, no shade to those who do that, but you know, if you're looking for that, you may not find it here unless, you know, there's a big surprise down the road and I put on a Ventus and I get 18 compliments in a day or something. Maybe I'll tell you about that. Otherwise, it's gonna be pretty low key. Anyway, I want you to comment down below and tell me I guess your favorite fragrance you put on this past week. Since the last video I put out, give me one fragrance you put on this past week. If you want to tell me if you got compliments on it, that's great too. Let's have a conversation about it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you guys on Monday with another review.